integration, which leverages storytelling, is designed to leverage the intrinsic strengths of each communications discipline in order to achieve greater impact collectively than they do individually. So if all you're doing is making all of your marketing elements match, if they all just have the same words and they're have the same logo and the colors are all the same, uh, you're not no, you're not you're setting it up so that that each one will work better because of these other things are going on. What you really need to do is feed have one feed off of another, and I'll show you how to do that. But that's essentially what you're trying to do with integration is to is to magnify the positive effect of what marketing can do. And I go in and I tell this story to uh, companies and. They're buying it, you know, because I can prove it. Um, so a company with a marginal to small um, uh, marketing budget can compete with a bigger company because every dollar they spend is smarter. And there's a technique to getting there. So when you're doing uh, integrated marketing, a lot of times what happens is you, um, people just think about running advertising. And really how it works, I'll give you an example. Um, you start with an imaginative idea that wants to create some energy, right? So you, you, you create integration and leverage. Uh, so let's say you have, you, you've got a company and you have a, an insight that uh, uh, you think that your target audience would respond to. So you want to uh, run some advertising. Advertising is great because you're spending dollars and you're creating leverage with the media. Okay? Um, but what you, what you might also want to do is create a promotional concept then that provides an incentive for consumers to interact with your brand. That can be a part of your ad, or it could, your ad could lead them to the promotion. If you're doing a promotion, and let's just say you have a retail account, then you tie that to activity that this promotion leads to. Uh, then, of course, if you're doing activities like that, then, then there's something mediagenic you can send to the media and get publicity for it. So people are talking about what you're doing. And I think that's really the judge of whether you've come up with a great idea or not for your brand. If, if your own marketing, the, the tool that you're creating to sell product, is interesting enough that the media wants to write about it, uh, then you've really done your job well. And that, that should be a goal going in. At every point in this process, you're collecting data. People who arrive at events, people who register for downloads, uh, people who show up in your store or maybe are uh, couponing. Um, if you want to extend your your, your dollars, let's say you do a promotion, well, why not bring in a promotional partner where, they, where you can start using some of their money? Um, you know, th this would be a non-competitive company that might be, so if I'm selling sub sandwiches, then I'm doing a promotion and Coke's paying for it. That's what we're doing right now for Cousin Subs. Um, so why not bring in a partner and extend your dollars? Um, then you're thinking in terms of driving people to web, so you're creating landing pages that are connected to your web tr your website. Um, if they want to register, they can either register on Facebook or go to your landing page. Now you're capturing their data, and you can put that into a, a CRM, and you can turn around and send emails to them for virtually free. And you've got a history on them now. You know um, what what it is that they like. You know what they respond to and you've got a captured audience, and you can promote to them. So all of these things um, can build your brand in so many different ways. A brand is like a, um, is like a uh, piece of uh, crystal with many different facets, like a diamond. And the more facets it has, the more interesting it becomes, the more it shines, right? 